Hello everyone, welcome to Dice Little Girl. I'll be your lovely host, Sai, or you can just call me Peachy. Valentine's Day is coming straight up, and I found a great variety of items to decorate my house with and my local Daiso. Let's open these little banners I found. Ta -da! There's flat type banners. Don't throw these bags away because they're great for repurposing. Oh, <laughs> to bag these banners again. Live for love! <laughs> to add a personal touch to them, we're going to decorate some clothes pins to hang some photos that we're also going to decorate in between each one of these flags. I took some cute Polaroids that I have for my photo album that I've collected over time while me and my boyfriend have been dating. And these are the ones I'm going to decorate. It's just variety, no big deal, just us in cute Naruto pajamas. A spring Christmas as well. Here's us getting hot chocolate. <laughs> and here's us in our, you know, normal day-to-day -day life in our tracksuits. <laughs> yes, we have matching tracksuits. It's my favorite. <laughs> here are some variety of tapes I found at Daiso as well. These boxes right here are from their more recent collection. I want to create a Christmas photo that we took recently. And to pair with this, I chose my gold one, since we have some gold ribbon and ornaments on the Christmas tree behind us. I'm gonna go ahead and decorate our Christmas card with some golden metallic tape that I found at Daiso. I do my best to center the stars right in the middle. Now we see this little edge right here, we're just gonna snip that right off along the lines of the Polaroid. My first decorated Polaroid! Super easy, right? We'll be decorating some of these clothespins that we're gonna use to hang up our Polaroid. You can find these flowers in the sewing section and these decoration balls in the packaging section next to the gift bags. We'll also be using some double-sided tape to help us apply these items onto our clothespins. Open these flowers right here. Then you just go ahead, place them straight on here. And there we go. For our pom poms, you can apply as much or little pom poms as you like. We go ahead and add a white pom pom on top, a nice pink one right underneath it, and press. Here we are, our personalized clothes pins. We finished pinning up our Polaroids after we customized it with some tape and customizing the clothing pins as well. Next, we're going to be going ahead and making some paper flowers to hang around the house. And there's even directions on the back of how to customize it some more. If you notice right here, there is a twist tie and we're going to leave that on. We're going to go ahead and fan these straight open. Pull up one sheet at a time on each side. This will take a little patience, but it's quite relaxing to do as well. Pull it up nice and easy on one side. And then we're gonna switch between the two sides so it's even. And separate. So here we are. Half of our flower is done. So we're gonna flip it upside down and continue on the other side. Ta da! And next, I'm gonna show you how to do a carnation style. And we're gonna pull a nice pink one out this time. And to do the carnation style, we're just gonna snip a triangular pattern on the ends right here, okay? And here we are. Okay, and just like before, we're gonna fan these open. Look, you can already see the little points. Ta-da! Here we are, our pink paper flowers. You can see the difference in the two. This is square tips and pointy tips. Cute, right? I also found these cute little garlands in Daiso. Ah, uh, I didn't know, but they're actually made out of foam. And that's it for our Valentine's Day decoration episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first installment of Daiso Girl. If you have any suggestions or requests for what you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a PG day and Daiso Girl out.